Recording? Okay, so when I got right after I bought the Ferrari, you're laughing at me. Right? You gotta hold the camera steady. So right after I got the Ferrari, I knew I needed a computer to check the clutch if I ever replace it and something to do with the F1 transmission. That part I didn't know so much, but I knew I had to get a computer. So I searched online to see what I needed. Well, fortunately, there are some videos out there of people replacing the clutch and use a computer. Uh, Radarosa is probably the most famous one out there. And in his video, he says, hey, email me and I'll tell you what computer I used. If you guys want one of these, um, I'm going to put details below. Just ping me a message and I'll tell you where you can buy one. Why don't you just tell us in the video? All right. So I emailed him. <laughs> Recording? So I sent Radarosa an email. Two months later, he finally replies back. Okay, great. He says, here's the link to eBay for the computer I used. Fine, looked on eBay. <laughs> the link he sent, and the picture was just like a generic looking computer which says, you know, Ferrari Maserati Diagnostic, uh, what is it, uh, 600 uh, British pounds. Oh, okay, the price is fine, but I wanted to know what I was buying. It, it didn't say anywhere what kind of computer it was. And I kind of figured maybe he was doing that so that we go through him, so he gets some type of commission for it, which is cool. All right. I still wanted to know what it was. So I didn't buy it. And uh, so I did some searching, searching, searching. And it turns out somebody else did buy it. And he bought it from Rosa, and then it didn't go so smoothly because he bought the computer, but then he had to buy like a thousand dollar firmware upgrade to it. So that's a lot of money on top of the computer. So I'm kind of glad I didn't go there. And another reason why I didn't buy it, I wanted to know about it before I bought it. And so he does say that, you know, he might have been able to figure this out if he'd sent some more emails to, uh, oh, Radarosa and this guy, the same thing. And so, all right, that wasn't it. So I did some more search, some more search. And uh, it turns out the main computer that people use, uh, like at Ferrari, is the Leonardo computer. And the problem with that is that it's a $20,000 computer. And then you need like $2,000 firmware upgrade every year or it's a licensing thing. But that's only, but that's only if they license it to you. So you can buy this $20,000 computer and they still won't license it to you. So it's like a $20,000 brick. Well, I wasn't going to buy that. So there are some brands out there that I was seeing on that fry chat. People were saying this, people were saying this. And the, the problem I was having is that nobody was saying, I used this computer for the clutch and it worked. I could not find that anywhere. What I was seeing is like, you could use it. It might work. Uh, I have it. I'll check it next week and let you know. But then like they never did. So I couldn't find any answers. And the same thing, the most popular one was the, the Launch X431. Okay, I'll buy that one. Well, it turns out there's varieties out there. There's the Pro, there's the Pad, and then later on, which I got was the, um, boy, I can't remember which one I got. <laughs> uh, the Torque. The X431 Torque. All right, so uh, in my searching, uh, so I, I go to websites and uh, you know, one of the people who do the, cl the, the, the clutch, I asked him what computer he used. He said, well, it's a manual, so I didn't have to use the computer. Great, that didn't work. Then Dan from uh, Normal Guy Supercar, he did it. And then Radarosa emailed him saying, hey, which computer did you use? And what did Dan say? I'll email you. Dan, just tell us what computer you use. Why? Just, ah. Uh, so the search goes on. So I found another guy who did, the, the, uh, who, who, all, the, the whole video was on the diagnostic computer, what kind of things it does. And he says what it was. And okay, okay, okay. But will it do the clutch? So I text, you know, sent a little comment. Will it do the clutch? And he said, it should. I don't want to should. I want it. Yes, I use this computer and it works for, re, you know, recalibrating the clutch. So that would work. All right. So then I looked and looked and looked. And then so finally on Ferrari chat, a guy said I used the, the Launch Tech USA X431 Pork. Cost me $1,400 on the Amazon. Fine. 
I'll buy that one. I'm pretty sure he says, yeah, it does the PSI, uh, the PIS and a new clutch position and all that. That sounds like it's going to work. And so I found one on eBay. He wanted $999 for it. Uh, I said, no, that's a lot of money. So I, or best offer. So I said, I think I said $600. And he said $900. And I said $700. So finally, right at the middle, $750. We settled right smack dab in the middle at $31. So... Tonight we'll have uh, the great unboxing. This is what was sent to me. I hope there's a $750 working launch computer in here. And then I gotta figure out how to use the thing. I have no idea how to use this thing. <laughs> there's, thanks for, for participating in my video. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna open it, see what's inside. Some years ago, I got this from eBay. Some years ago, I bought a projector from eBay. And what I got instead was a box of shiny pinball machine parts. So I took their plutonium and in turn gave them a shiny bomb casing full of used pinball machine parts. Come on! Just kidding. It was champagne glasses. And so I contacted them. They, oh, sorry, you sent the wrong thing. Here's your $2,000 back. So let's see what this got me. Here, let's get some. How exciting. Tension build. Oh, this looks promising. I do appreciate they put it in the chewy box if all the neighbors thought I was getting doggy treats and they didn't steal it. It's supposed to be signed for, but apparently they just left it at the door. Let's see what's inside. Oh. Hey, all right, there's some instructions here. Ah, this plugs into your car. That's nifty. Nothing in there. Got the nifty little machine here. And you got this, your doohickey. Don't know what it's for. Get all these things. Again, don't know what it's for. Ooh, look at all this fun stuff. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Ooh, documents. Let's see. Configuration packing list. Um, ooh, whatever this is. Don't know if I'm supposed to show you this part. All right, well, I'll do some reading on this and figure out what all these little things do, and I'll see if I can figure out how to turn this sucker on. Maybe it just needs to be plugged in. Battery's dead. Ooh, let's see. X431 Torque. Let's see if it works. Okay, thanks. So I got my fancy new little diagnostic computer here. Uh, how to plug it in. Well, you can't see it, but anyway, the OBD2 plug is just right underneath the string well. So I was worried that I needed to subscribe to something to make this thing work. Uh, I wasn't too sure. I was even afraid if I plugged it in and hit the wrong button, I'd turn this whole thing into an expensive brick. But uh, let's see here. So you need to have it in the on position. Going to launch it. Yep, there we are. Diagnos. And I am a Ferrari. Yes, yes, I'm sure that's not great. Okay. Wait for it. There we are. And I am that guy. And I am that guy. And I am that guy. Now, uh, the first time I did this, it only had the three selections, and then I waited a second, and it gave me another. Maybe I got this wrong. Let's try system. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is where I think it needed to give me another one. Certain of it. Gearbox. Gearbox. Making some funny clicking over there. So if you guess, hi guess. There we are. Uh, special function. Clutchware. That's where I really want to know. Wait for it. And there we have it. How exciting is working. 
come back. And so I'm going to read more about these things when I finally do the clutch. And now I need to know about the F1 bleeding that. But this is all none of that. What? You've been fed? You've been watered? You even went to go out, go potty? He's just bored. And I'm cold. Alright, so it's working.